Quick extra update here regarding the ABH palette. In case anyone is wondering why the back of their packaging has a cover sticker over where the barcode would be, I've learned via the grapevine that unfortunately some people are taking products that they get in these boxes, they're taking them back to the stores and saying they want to return them and getting their money, the, the full price of the item. This is a $55 palette. So Trend Mood has started covering up barcodes of highly expensive products so that people cannot cheat the system and get money back on an item. Just thought I'd toss that in there. And hello everybody. Fatima did a little shopping and found a, another trend mood box. So our question is, is it a trick or is it a treat? Let's take a look inside and see what we've got. First up is from First Aid Beauty. And First Aid Beauty and I are not the best of friends, so I will be passing this along. This is an anti-chafing stick. So I'm sure it has wonderful results for some people. First Aid Beauty formula and I just don't seem to jive too well, so this one gets passed along. From M Cosmetics, we have a lip liner. And this is in the shade Teddy. And I'm putting this into the Find a Future Home Box because I'm not a big lip liner user and I just have way too many of them. So let's give someone else a treat and let's pass this along. This is a hair mask from Von D. Boost. Yes, Von D. Boost has sent us a good sized hefty product of a hair mask that is supposed to be good not only for your hair, but for your scalp. And it's enriched with lots of different oils. So this ought to be exciting to see what it can do for a few people here in the household, including me and my dry ends. April Skin sent us something interesting. This is a toner. It says it is the art. Hemsia Rice Essence Toner. I'm interested to give this a try. A while back, I had gotten a product from April Skin. It was a makeup remover, and Anne really enjoyed that one. So I'm excited to see what their toner has in store. I tried to get a sniff through the safety seal and couldn't smell anything. So Either it's unscented or very lightly scented, but I am excited for this one. To be exact, I think this is probably my favorite item in the first half of the box. What did you see in the first half that you liked? Let us know, because I'm a nosy camel. I want to know all the details. And now, moving right along with this video, from KVD, we have a full sleeve mascara. And I'll be honest, I had to read up on this one a little bit. I'm not gonna dig into this one yet because I have too many mascaras open as usual. So I wanna keep this one closed up, but I was reading up on the card that came with it. Now this sounds intriguing or different to me. I'm not sure which, but it does sound intriguing. It is supposed to give length and lift, ink black volume, smudge resistant, extreme definition, flake and clump proof, and easy water removal. That kind of caught my attention. Supposedly, to remove the tubing mascara, you wet your finger with warm water, press against your lashes for a few seconds, yeah, I know, Fatima. And then use gentle pressure to easily slide the sleeves off of your lashes. 
I know. So I'm going to have to play around with that one. Does sound intriguing. Apparently, from what I understand, I don't have TikTok. So from what I understand, this is all the rage over on TikTok. We don't do TikTok in this household, but does sound intriguing product. Yes, it does. Huh. This is a makeup brush and makeup sponge cleaner. And it's in the shade Marshmallow. It looks like it's a, maybe a collaboration between Trend Mood and Swirl and Sparkle. And I did take a sniff at this. Me too. And it does smell like marshmallow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Definitely an oh, wow. Yeah. So I am curious to see. I usually use a product for cleaning brushes and sponges that is similar to this. It, it comes in a little, a little tin and you just wet your brush and dip in there and scrub around and it gets clean. I'm curious to see if that Sephora brand stands up well to this Trend Mood Swirl and Sparkle brand. So we shall see. This is a lip cream from Sigma. I had one of their lip oils or lip creams. I can't remember which one it was, but I've had one of their lip products before and I really enjoyed it. It was a little sticky maybe, but it was definitely moisturizing. So I'm excited to get something that is moisturizing as we're heading into cooler weather. And it is in the shade New Mod. I guess from what I understand, there were five or six different shades. You didn't get to pick one. You just got one of them. As the old saying goes, you take what you get and you don't throw a fit. I'm not throwing a fit over this one unless it is a fit of joy. Because I've enjoyed their product before and definitely excited to try this one again. We have a palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh my goodness. Yes, definitely. Oh my goodness. I believe this is our first palette from ABH. And this is the colors that came. Not my favorite color story. We tend to go to the blingy colors. However, that top row has got some color splash to it that is attracting my attention. So we're going to have to play with it. Yeah, I'm going to have to play with this and see what I can come up with. And now I get to do swatches. I need a brush. Let's get the camel a brush. So this is the Fall Romance palette from ABH and the camel will now do swatches. Nice job in the swatching department, Fatima the Camel. Thank you. I like swatching. Almost as much as I like shopping. What did you like in the second half of the box? Let us know. And consider subscribing to our channel. It would be appreciated. And that way you don't miss out on any more of our fun adventures. 
we have fun adventures. Like, comment, subscribe, share, notification bell, and now she wants to do the nitty gritty. Taking a quick look at the nitty gritty, was this box a trick or a treat? We vote for treat. No tricks in here. Agreed. The box was $48 with a promised retail value of $195. I found a code that saved a few dollars that you did. So by the time you added in tax, shipping was free. We were all in for $94, not $94, $49. I oopsed. Yes, you oopsed. We'll leave that in there. We were all in for $49.14. The First Aid Beauty product was $8. The Lip Liner is $20. The April Skin Toner is $19. The Bondi Boost Hair Mask is $27.99. And these are prices that I found online because they were not provided by Trend Mood. So I could be off a little one way or the other. The Brush Cleaner is $20, we think. The Sigma Lip Cream in New Mod is $22. The KVD Full Sleeve Mascara is $25. And the ABH Fall Romance Palette is $55. So we totaled up $197. Very much a treat. Yes. If you like what you saw today, catch what's off enough on the screen now. And thank you for watching. And remember to subscribe so you can get more of our fun videos. Because we have some fun stuff planned in the coming months. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.